mascot, pack 11 in the plastic Glock, five left in the Bulldog West. Smith, that is, sit that bitch in the rod of your spine. You must be out of your mind. I'm top of the line, hop in the Blindville pill. Niggas is out before your body drop. Crack daddy house, you see the caddy out, right? Pump on the stoop, I'm riding with Oof and Uncle Snoop rock and roll. We got stacks and our slacks till we out the door, man. Little bit of line with the Henny Hood, nigga. I figured you could find me in Benny's. Twisted biscuit out. My man own this shit. Nigga, you figure it out, boy. I used to play in the suey hole. Now I got model Sean Coochie hoes. Yeah, you know. Coolio gotta go. Mean it's getting too high, too much. Blowing one spot gig. Doing one shot shit. Slang rap like Kilo Crack. I'm G Money and Need no Mac. We all back. Come on down. Meet your match. Matter of fact, gig. Something out the Mac Club. I don't play that shit. I been G and I say that shit. North niggas pray that shit. East Coast, get your dumb ass smoke. Now let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Coach Chiefs mixtape Mike Tyson. Show my nigga Petey Crack. And if you don't know where we at right now, you must be lost. What's good, Crack? Let the niggas know what's up. Shut up, what up? <laughs> what you been up to lately? Ronnie. What, what was the reason for changing your name and all of that? The Petey Petey instead of Petey Crack? Um, shit, it wasn't for no artists, for no rappers. I don't care about nobody, all the rappers want they sell crack. I'm crack. Been crack. Uh huh. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't about that. It wasn't no beef shit or nothing. Like, yo, I'm changed. Oh, 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 he said it. Oh, I bowed down or nothing. Uh -huh. Oh, this is that. I was. A lot of parents and shit was asking me, like, yo, what's up with this name, PD Crack? Like, your daughter, my daughters keep talking about you and shit. But the name is like, you know what I'm saying? That name Crack. Why well, can't just be PD? Like, what's up with that? Like, I like your music and shit. But I said, you know what, ma? You're right. I ain't really got an answer for that. That's just the name of the hood. Gave me just from being around the way and so crack with my homies uh, uh -huh. um, and spitting with my man's. My name was Petey and my man used my old head aunt. He used to call me, he used to call me Petey Cracko. Mm -hmm. Like Benny Blanco from the um, from the movie um, Carlitos Way. Uh -huh. like Benny Blanco, he'd be like, yo, it's Petey Cracko, like Benny Blanco. Mm -hmm. Then I said, you know what though, I'm gonna go ahead and drop the um, crack off. Cause I thought about it like, yo. So pretty much, what's next? Hold up, look. Oh, all right. So they be like, look, we gonna, we gonna go grab PD PD CD. That's more easy. See, like PD PD, oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. PD crack? Uh, I don't know about that. Mm. But rental discretion advice? I don't know. I ain't buying you know PD crack CD. But I get you PD PD CD. Yeah. That's like a million more copies. So you know what I'm saying? You're right. That definitely that's makes a lot up. of sense. Cause I know when I seen um when I seen Beanie's album and I said Petey Petey, I said what? Yeah, switch team up. And like, my mom used to always be on my ass about that. Like, yo, why you gotta say crack? Uh -huh. I said, Mom, that's just my hood. That's my name for my hood. And I can't even help it because niggas still that away gonna call me crack. But so, I, all right, but what about for the other fans though? Like the other people who well, nobody it. gotta stop calling me crack. That's just for the industry. Yeah. That's just to sell these records. Oh, okay. call me crack all day you want. Okay. Right. Pete crack. You know who the fuck it is. But it's PD PD when they go on the show. Alright. So, so what, what's up with the game situation and all of that as far as like him dissing um Chris Ain't no e. situation. I'm gonna make it real simple for you. This is the thing. Cicero and the young guns was going at it. Now I don't know what Bleak went through with game or whatever that bullshit was, but game ain't ever say nothing wrong about me. So if you don't say nothing wrong about me, but if you say something about my squad, certain niggas, I'm gonna get in the shit and ball you the fuck up. But they ain't say nothing wrong about me. And I like the motherfucker. So, but then Cicero was going at it with the youngins. Let the youngins lock it up. We let the puppies lock it up. The pups can lock it up. But soon as one of the OGs step in and talk about he's going to slap one of the youngins, you not slapping the youngins. That's when another G guy step in like, yo, you know what? Look, we get off my pup. Get off the pups. You know what? Look, get out of it. Like, you know what? You ain't touching the pups. You know what I'm saying? I feel that. So dude just got to chill out, man. It ain't about nothing, man. It's Philly shit. We try to get money. It's more we try, we try to eat. You know what's up. We try to sell some records, gang. You know what it is. Look, try to get some money. I get some money with you, too. We can get some paper. We get a check popping. Let's do it. But, you know, let the 
pups knuckle it up. You call Philly talking about you um, gonna slap the pups up. You ain't slapping the young as up. Those young guys. Um, how did you go about making the decision between staying with Dame or Jay? Like it was, it was easy. All right. Well, my reason for asking this is because you know when I be in the studio with the with the engineers and everything like that with other DJs, it's like like how do you make this choice? Like you know Dame and Jay, they build this company, and then all of a sudden it's like, well, who you gonna stay with? You know what I'm saying? Like how did you make the decision, and and how how is it basically? Dame was faking moves. Hope always kept it funky. The nigga Kareem Biggs always kept it funky. He never lied to me. Never said no phony shit. Dame Fugazi. So Soul's Hope was like, yo, what's up, crack? Um, you they sold they sold a the label. They sold a the label to fucking um the Death Jam. So they shared. So Hope owned it. So then my lawyer saw Hope like, yo, we wanna have a meeting. We had crack up there. So I had the meeting. Hope was like, what you wanna do? I said, I wanna go with you. He said, ain't no problem. I already got your contract. I, I'm the president of Death Jam. Me and L.A. Reed. The contract right here. I was already ain't gotta do nothing. I said, all right, it was five minutes. Then we went pop bottles and shit, celebrated. Yeah, Jay Z, Jay Z for Jay Z. For president, you know what I'm saying? That's what's up. President of Def Jam, I love that shit. Anything, anything? Fucking dang. TYK. My boy Lowe's, this nigga right here, look. I ain't gonna have to do no corny ass promo. This is my nigga right here, TYK. This is my nigga for life. This is, this is the one and only original street motherfucking promoter of mixtapes and DVDs and all that cool shit. If you don't know this nigga, you better, you better fucking recognize. This is my nigga, alright? He, he, he get it popping for me. For years, he been popping it off. He keep, my, he keep me with instrumentals all the time for me to blaze niggas and burn niggas, chop niggas necks off. And he keep my shit burning in the streets. That's a good look right there. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, you tuned in to my nigga, nigga Petey Crack. Petey Crack, Rockefeller's finest. Your prince, alright?